This is Pierre Martin, folk artist. As the moon casts a silvery glow over the towering cliffs and swirling tides of the Bay of Fundy, little Georgia wandering away from the campsite, her curiosity leading her to the edge of the beach. She marveled at the powerful tides, the highest in the world, and the moon reflection on the water. Suddenly, a gentle yet commanding voice broke the silence. What brings you here, little one? Asked a figure emerging from the mist. It was Captain Molly Cool, a friendly ghost who had spent her life navigating these very waters. Georgia, a bit startled, but intrigued, replied, I wanted to see the big tides. They're so amazing. Molly smiled warmly. Indeed, they are. The tides here can lift and lower boats as they were mere leaves on the water. Let me walk with you back to your campsite. It's not safe for a young girl to be out here alone. As they walk along the moonlight beach, Georgia noticed Jack the Cat perch high on a flower pot to shape rock as a result of the powerful tide's erosion. Jack meowed softly, seemingly understanding the unusual meeting taking place. Modi, Georgia asked, who are you? I'm Captain Molly Cool, she replied. I was the first woman in North America to become a steamship captain. It wasn't easy, but it was determined. I faced many challenges, just like mighty tides, but I never gave up. Georgia eyes widening with admiration. Wow, how did you do it? Molly chuckled softly. It took a lot of hard work, courage, and believing in myself. I wanted to show the world that women can achieve great things just like men. It's important to seize opportunities and never be afraid to follow your dreams. Georgia nodded, feeling inspired. I want to be brave like you, but sometimes I don't know if I can. Molly kneeled down to Georgia level, her ghostly form shimmering in the moonlight. You can, Georgia. Always remember to trust yourself but also listen to your parents. They want to keep you safe and help you grow, just like Jack the Cat there. Sometimes we all need a little guidance. As they approached the campsite, Molly form began to fade. Stay focused, trust in your dream, and always know that you can achieve anything you set your mind to, she said softly. Georgia waved goodbye as Molly disappeared into the night. She felt a newfound strength within her, inspired by the story of Captain Molly Cool. Returning to her parents, she shared her adventure and the wise words of friendly ghosts, feeling more determined than ever to seize her own opportunities while staying safe. And high on a flower pot rock, Jack, the cat, poor, contently, as if in approval of the night's magical encounter.